Caliente. Welcome back to my channel. This is Queen Sugar. So today I have a pick up how reading that looks into your love life. It looks into your career, your finances as well within the next six months. So get some updates. We'll get some messages. I like to think that love and money are connected because when we think about the term or the phrase giving and receiving, we have to know that the more that we give to others and the less that we give to ourselves, we have this imbalance. So it's important that we always give back to ourselves. We always love ourselves first. That way we are fulfilled and we're able to share that love and that abundance with others. Okay, so take a moment to clear your mind and to allow yourself to relax, to clear your thoughts. So take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out and allow your spirit guides to guide you to the door or doors that best represent the message for you. Our first door is the pink door. Our second door is a dark brown door. Our third door is a blue door. And our fourth door is a light brown door. Once you have selected your door or doors, feel free to click the timestamp below to check out your portion of the video. At the very end, I will gather some charms and I also pull out my letters for additional messages. So be sure to watch your portion of the video to the end to get those additional messages as well, okay? As always, I appreciate the love and the support. I wish you all the best and I hope you enjoy the video. Alrighty, let's get started with your reading. So we're going to go into the money side of the reading and then we'll get into the love and at the end we'll get some charms and letters. So the cards that we have here are stay optimistic about your love life, positive thinking, and faith will bring you romance. The eight of chalices. The six of chalices. And the eight of pentacles. All right. So in terms of money, this is what I'm getting for you. Some of you may have been let go at work or decided to leave your job and pursue something else. I see that because of this man like walking away here, right? The Eight of Cups is about walking away, leaving a situation, but he isn't walking empty handed. You know that he has his backpack. He has his um, pouch here, his bag, and he's leaving with resources. He's leaving with something. And so he is walking away with his resources in his bag. And I feel like this represents you being released from a job, but being free, but still you have gained this wisdom and something from that experience, right? Whether it be money or just the skills that you still have gained something from that. And you can add it to your list of tools is what I'm getting. I also get that some of you are working towards um, applying to roles that fit your interests and also bring you back to what really inspires you, you know, with the Six of Cups energy and this Eight of Pentacles, because the Six of Cups is like a nostalgic energy here. So I feel like this is really putting you in a position to bring you back to what is home, what is your true calling, that's what I'm getting. Also, some of you may be applying for something bigger and better in terms of like a position, and these roles um, that you're applying for are a great match of what you are destined to become. Um, what you're destined to grow into. You're manifesting a better job with better pay. It's like a level up basically, right? So this is really important, you know, to know that to pay, um, to pay, you know, your dues where they are needed to be paid. So like, of course, you know, yes, you may have been let go from a job or you're leaving a job, but know that that job was just a stepping stone for a stepping stone for you to move forward to something better, right? And to stay optimistic about, it says like stay optimistic about your love life, but this can be also with money, so stay optimistic about your, your career and positive thinking and faith will bring you that career, that um, that job that you're hoping for, that you're, you're destined for. And it's important to know that positive thinking helps attract more opportunities into your life. So not just only focusing on, you know, what you want, but also know that everything that you've experienced is for a reason and look at it that way, right? Lack thinking, lack mentality attracts more lack. But if you have like a mentality where you're thinking about the opportunities and the blessings that you have, you attract more of that into your life for sure. And also know that um, I get that some people will receive high praises from their their previous job or you're going to have references that from your past just speak highly of you. So if you're wondering like who or like what they're going to say about you, they're going to say good things about you for sure. OK, so now let's swip this. Um, we'll switch this into like the, the love portion. So in terms of love, this is letting you know to stay optimistic about your love life. Know that love can come to you, but you can't be afraid to one, walk away from situations and people that are not in alignment with you anymore. You know, sometimes we 
we evolve and we grow and we're just not matching the people that we once matched before. And that is okay. It is okay to share those memories with each other. It is okay to miss them at times, but know that your level up doesn't mean you have to go back down to get somebody. They have to level up as well, too. You have to continue to focus on yourself and focus on your healing, your growth, your evolution, your purpose, all of that. And when you do that, you're able to enjoy yourself, enjoy your life. And then you're able to attract people that match that frequency and that vibration that you're vibrating at this time. I get for those that are questioning about their love life. I do see positive movement coming towards you when it comes to love. And you may reconnect with a soulmate that you haven't met before as well. And also maybe a person that you may have walked away from or that has walked away from you. They probably have leveled up and they're getting onto that level where you are. And maybe you two are able to rekindle that connection and start over and actually, you know, have like a, a solid shot at love. But I really get that this time is letting you know, this time in your life is letting you know that the more positivity that you think and feel, the more you bring into your life. Because you attract what you keep focusing your mind on. So like, here's the thing, you can't focus too much on like, I want to, I just want love. I just want a relationship. I just want this. When you keep focusing on it like that, what happens is you continue to create that lack of it because that's what you keep saying I want this I want this you're not saying to the universe I have it I already feel it within myself I feel it already so it's important to kind of like shift your your thinking to at this time okay so now I'm going to get into your charms and letters and then we'll be done with your reading now we have your letters and charms I'm going to pull out the words that spirit wants me to call out and go through the charms at the very end if you see additional words, feel free to put them in the comment section. All right. So the first word that I see that spirit wants me to call out is soul. We have soul. We have soulmate. So I think we talked about that with the cards, the six of cups, the soulmate energy with that card. But also going within yourself, knowing that you are your own soulmate as well. And reflecting on that, what does that mean to you? Oh, we actually have the soulmate tile too. Soulmate, divine feminine, divine masculine tile. I'll put that up there. Let's see what else do we have here. We have goals. So I feel like with this, this is saying, what are your soul's like goals? What do you want to accomplish in this lifetime? Thinking about that, reflecting on that, whether it be, you know, the type of career that you want, um, the so, you know, the things that you want to accomplish, like before I die, I want the world, I want people to remember me by X, Y, and Z. I want to be known for this. That's what I'm seeing with that. I'm also seeing or hearing this song by John Legend. It's called um, Save Room, I believe. Save Room. It goes like Save Room for My Love. Save Room. So if you don't know the song, feel free to look up the lyrics. It's called Say Room by John Legend. If you don't like John Legend, just look up the lyrics so you can just like read them and see why they want you to pay attention to that song to look at it. Next, we have gift. So maybe someone will be gifting you something soon. You might get a new job. Like the universe is gifting you with a new opportunity, money, love, career. It can be anything. And as I say love, I see love. We have love there. We also have money. So love and money is coming your way. Or I think we have money, do we? Maybe not. We don't have an end. But that's fine. We have dollars. <laughs> we have dollars. So you're still going to get the money. More dollars. I'm like, I feel the energy of more money coming into you, for you. More dollars. We have cute. Somebody thinks you're cute. Or you're thinking someone is cute that you might have a crush on. Maybe your crush thinks you're cute. See, we have go. We got to go twice. Maybe there's something spirit is trying to say with this being here so many times to go for it, to not be afraid to walk away. Sorry about that. All right. So we also have date. 
Maybe your dating life is about to change. But yeah, as I was saying before, with the go, the two goes here, this is telling me maybe some of you need to leave something, leave a situation, whether it be a career, it be um, a person, because there's something better out there for you. And they don't want you to be, you know, held up by it, by this thing that you're still holding on to. And as I say leave, I see leave. So definitely pay attention to that. Okay. We also have bait. So be careful not to, you know, take the bait sometimes because the universe might be testing you just to see if you're going to do the same thing over again, if you're going to go back to old habits, old behavior. So be, a, um, be very aware of that. And then we have DIYs. So there might be some things that you can do for yourself that require, um, you know, less money so you can save a little bit more as well. Okay. So these are the letters. So now let's get into your charms. So we have Taurus which says trustworthy. We have the number 16. So something can happen in 16 days or within 16 weeks, or that number could just be symbolic to you. Also, that can be the number seven. So 777 seven, seven, or 1616 could be your um, special number. We have never give up or never, never give up. I like that. So this is letting you know to keep going, to keep pushing forward. Don't give up. Even though things might be tricky or hard sometimes, we have the weight. So maybe this is saying leave those weights behind. You don't have to take everything with you. We have a swan. So this is about your beauty transforming into this angelic, beautiful, beautiful bird. And knowing that you have the power to captivate as many people's attentions as you can. But also, too, I get that this is saying um, that some of you may be wondering about like a connection in terms of love with a twin flame. And there will be some type of progress with it. We have the number four. So that could be symbolic to you and also... 444. Four, four. We have live the life you love. That is so true. Oh, we have love here. Love. We have hope. We have Capricorn, which is ambitious. We have I will. And then we have I love you with the infinity sign. So, yeah, I get that some of you are, you know, wondering about, um, just love in general, but someone out there does love you, even if you haven't met them yet, like you will experience that love and also know that the gift of love is beautiful. So giving love to yourself is important and know that you deserve love to be um, given to you as well. I also want to say when it terms to money, like know that money is coming your way. You'll be gifted something. Maybe you'll be gifted money or receive something on the 16th or the 4th. Or like within four weeks or four days. Same with the number 16 as well. So be open to receiving this new amount of money that might be coming your way. Okay. So I hope this was helpful for those that's left in this pile. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you all. Blessings in abundance. Alrighty, this will be for those that's left at the brown door. So let's get into the cards. We're going to look into the money side first and then we'll get into the love and then we'll get your charms and letters at the very end. So the cards we have here are attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Six of swords, the ten of pentacles, and then the magician. All right, so let's get into the money side of this. Okay, so I feel like with the money, this is telling me that you need to hear this reminder. You attract what you put your attention on. You attract what you think of, right? You attract what you put your energy into with the magician here. And so this is a reminder to let you know that if you want a better circumstance um, in terms of like, you know, your money or career position, whatever it is, you have to see that for yourself and you have to create that physical reality for yourself by preparing yourself mentally, energetically, spiritually for it. You don't get the thing when it gets here. You already, you get the thing already beforehand, meaning you already are feeling that energy. You're already in that vibration. That's how you bring it into your physical reality. Because sometimes we think like, oh, when I get all this money, I'm going to be good. Like I'm going to change my whole mindset. I'm going to be this happy, go lucky person. I'm going to be, you know, abundant and I'm going to be stress free. No, you have to already feel that energy beforehand before you get it, because that's how you bring it in. And so I feel like 
They're letting you know that that is something that you have to work on, shifting your mentality in terms of like what you focus on and actually creating that reality that you do want. You're destined for the Ten of Pentacles. You're destined for this type of life where you're abundant and you're wealthy. You don't have to stress about money anymore, but you have to feel that way and you have to manifest this into your life. So shifting your um, thinking is one thing, knowing that you attract what you think. So if you think negatively, you're going to attract more negative outcomes. If you think more so an abundant mindset, you're going to attract more abundance into your life. And I feel like your guys are trying to push you out of this like mentality so you can actually be in your Ten of Pentacles and attract it. So pay attention to that. I also get that some of you may be um, considering leaving another job to like go to a job that pays more. Or some of you might leave your job because you have been there for a while and you saved there's enough money and now you're ready to start like your own entrepreneurship um, type of, you know, like situation. Or, you know, you could be doing it on the side, but I do get that some of you are leaving and moving towards a more abundant career, something where you feel able to really express yourself in all ways and shapes and forms. I definitely think that um, those that are interested in entrepreneurship, go for it, especially if you have the money you know, to do it, or if you have the time and you have some resources, try it out, see what you can do, see what you can get done in this time. This is the perfect time to pursue entrepreneurship for sure. Okay. So now let's shift this into the love aspect of the reading. So I'm getting in terms of love. You are attracting love into your life. There are people that are very attracted to you, but you want something that is more stable. You want something that is long-term. You don't want a fun quickie you don't want like a a one night stand or a situation ship you want a solid relationship so I feel like you're able to attract more of those type of people that want that same commitment as you as you focus on you know yourself more and more and also just um think about it in terms of like what type of situation do you want to be in do you want to be in a relationship that is long term where both parties are abundant giving into their selves but also giving into the relationship or do you want something that is just like you know short-lived right so focusing on where your mind is do you have a lack mentality when it comes to love like oh um no one ever talks to me or everyone I talk to always ghosts me if you keep thinking like that you're going to keep attracting things of that nature but if you change it to where you know um I am abundant I am a great person to talk to people love being around me I vibrate at a high frequency like you start shifting it towards yourself and you're able to one raise your vibration and two you're changing your mindset into thinking about yourself at a high like a higher pedestal and that's nothing there's nothing wrong with putting yourself on a high pedestal because you are abundant you are worth quality you're worth abundance and so you should feel that way okay and so I feel like in terms of love they're saying that love is coming your way but you also have to be ready to move towards love as well, too, because sometimes we want love, but then we're not ready to move towards it. We're like, oh, here's this person. They're great, but I don't really know. So I'm not going to move towards them. And I feel like spirit is like, it is time for that extra push. It is time for you to do it. It is time for you to feel motivated, to feel encouraged to do so. So not be afraid of love and know that when you meet the person that matches you, your wealth, your value, and not just wealth, like physical wealth, but also like spiritual wealth, then don't run away from it. Give them a chance and see where things can go because you have been praying for this. You have been manifesting this. So this is not the time to run away from it. Okay. So now I'm going to get into your charms and letters. Alrighty. So I have your letters and charms. So let's see what word spirit wants me to call out at this time. Remember, if you see additional words that I do not call out, feel free to put them in the comment section. All right, the first word that they want me to call out right off the bat is bless. I think we might have blessings. Let's see. Yep, we got blessing. Um, G and then S. So a lot of blessings are coming your way. See the plural? I love it. So you're getting a lot of blessings. A lot of blessings are coming forward for you. So get ready for them. Get ready to receive them. You deserve them. What else do we have? We have wife. So some of you will become a wife sooner than you think. Or if you are a person that is pursuing a wife, wanting someone to be your wife, then you're going to you're going to meet this person that will become your wife. Let's see what else we get. I see divine. Let's move this down a little bit. We have divine. 
feel like the divine is blessing you with a lot. They want to shower you with abundance, with all of the things that you've been hoping for. So get ready to receive them. Do not walk away from them. Do not be afraid of them. Okay. Let's see what else we get. We have divine time. Kind of like divine timing. So I feel like this is just letting you know that you've been patient. You've been waiting for your, your moment. And I feel like your, your moment, your day is coming. So get ready. They're like telling me to get you ready for this. Like they keep saying, get ready, get ready, get ready for your blessings. Get ready for them because they're here. What else? We have queen. So this is a reminder that those that are watching this, you are a queen. And if you are a male watching this, you are a king as well. Put blessings back together. Let's see what else we get. I mean, honestly, the big words that they want me to call out all the time is blessing. I feel like they're saying, you keep asking about it, you keep asking when, so now is the time. It's here. Don't run away. Don't disappear. We have DM and then also DF. So divine masculine, divine feminine. What else? We have I see higher. Somebody's getting hired. Somebody's getting a new job. You've been applying for one. You're going to get hired very soon if you've been wondering about it. Okay. Ooh, I also see um, Mary. Because we did get a wife earlier. So I'm going to take this R away. We have Mary. So somebody wants to marry you. Some of you may be getting married sooner, uh, married sooner than you think. Okay. And then let's see. Is that it for what they want me to call out for you right now? Yep. That's it. So of course, if you see anything else, feel free to put it in the comment section. So now for your charms, we have kind, compassionate, happy, free, true, strong, brave, peace, or kind at heart. Um, thankful and happy. And there's like a little heart there too. We have the number 28. So that can be symbolic for you. That can also represent the number 10, which is like a completion number. Also something could happen on the 28th or within 28 days. We have, I choose strength and then we have like a weight. So like maybe some of you are thinking about working out or getting your body back in shape. And also know that you can carry some of the weight that you're you're holding, but you don't have to carry it all, you know, knowing that you don't have to give up. But also know that it's OK to ask for help every now and then we have hope. Don't lose hope. Know that your blessings are coming in. We have trust. Trust that your blessings are coming in. We have beautiful. We have believe with the heart as well. So love is coming in as well. We have the rooster. So maybe this is saying some of you may have to get up a little bit earlier than what you normally do because it's time for you to get out there and go after what you want. I think we have the six of swords here. And so I feel like this is indicating that push, that nudge that might need to happen for you to really, you know, get yourself going, get your energy going, especially if you're going to be an entrepreneur because entrepreneurs, you know, you make your own schedule, but also it's important to be productive. We have angels watching over me. So there are angels blessing you. They're watching over you. They, they hear you. They know that you want their help. You need their help. And they're here to guide you and assist you. We have a little dinosaur here. So maybe um, someone from your past might be trying to come up or something from your past is going to try to come up to just distract you. But pay attention to that. Don't let it distract you. And as I say that, I see X. So yeah, maybe an X is trying to come back and distract you. Be mindful of that especially if you don't want them around. We have Scorpio, which is passionate. We have practical, 
which is Virgo. We have Cancer, which is imaginative. Nice. And we have the number 17, so that can be a symbolic number to your connection as well. Within, like, you know, love connection, it could be just a message from your ancestors. Whenever money is about to come your way or when your blessings are coming your way, you might see 888 or you could just see 1717, however you want to look at it. But yeah, this is what I have for you for your charms and letters. I hope you all enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. I wish you all the best. Blessings and love. Sorry about that, everyone. I received the call in the middle of the reading. So let me finish off the money side and then we'll get into the romantic side. I also want to call out that the release your ex energy here is giving me the message of releasing the past when it comes to your old money ways. So whether it be like you were overspending or you were not budgeting, you weren't managing your money well. I feel like they're letting us know here that there is time to release that type of money management skills and to welcome in better skills that are going to put you in a place where you're financially stable and financially secure. That's what I'm getting as well. I, I feel like this is something that, you know, it kind of repeats itself within your lineage, like within your family, um, whether it be immediate family or like distant family. And also like, you know, your ancestors, because the will is also like dealing with karma and cycles. So I feel like this is also about you breaking a cycle, ending the cycle. I love that um, we have the X here, like literally Xing out, breaking that cycle, that bad habit. That way you're able to be more financially abundant. So now moving into the love aspect of this, releasing your ex, the time has come to clear your energy. I'm getting that some of you have to let go of some folks that no longer serve you whether it literally be an ex or someone that you were in a situation with or someone that you were like really hoping you know to be with for a very long time and it just hasn't played out just yet release that energy because it seems that you're very attached to it you know i get that some of you are overly attached to someone or to an energy there also could be a person that's overly attached to you so let's say a karmic just keeps coming in they keep kind of like pick on your energy and pull your energy it's time to let them go spiritually energetically and also physically now there's some people where like let's say you have a child with your ex you can't necessarily let them go because you have to communicate with them in this and you know um, because you have a child with them but you can let them go energetically and spiritually you can like wipe yourself clean of them in those type of ways and just only have to deal with them you know in a small way when it comes to your child so that's what I'm getting with that I also believe that they're letting us know the moment that you release this ex, this karmic energy, you know, toxic traits or a toxic person, you're able to bring in a new love, a new love offer here that you've been well, hoping for for a long time. I guess for some of you, it might not even come from the person you think it's going to come from because you may have been attached to an illusion or potential of somebody, of someone. And now... Once you release all of that attachment, what happens is you just focus on the qualities and the traits of a relationship or a partner that you want. And that's what's coming towards you. And it could end up being that person in a better version or it could be someone completely different. But the idea is that you have to um, release it, this need and this this attachment that you have with, you know, this person or with this idea of being with this person so that way the universe can actually give you what your heart is desiring is what I get okay so now let us go into your charms and letters I'm going to pause the video put the letters out and put your charms on the screen as well alrighty so let's get into making your words and then we'll get your charms at the end so the first word that I see is bless So this is letting you know that you are blessed, that blessings will come your way. Because um, sometimes, you know, we, we think like, oh, you know, my moment won't be here. But I feel like a lot of your blessings are on its way to you. You just have to be patient and know that they're coming your way. And that can be hard sometimes, especially if you've been waiting for a long time. We also have the soulmate um, 
twin flame title. So maybe some of you will receive an offer from this person, or maybe this is also saying maybe take a break, take a step back from a connection where there is a soulmate twin flame in there just to see where things go and just to see what happens. Because like I said, you have to, um, just find a way to stop the attachment with someone or something that way you can actually allow it to come to you naturally rather than, you know, trying to force it. Okay. Um, the next word I see is job. So maybe some of you, we just got that too. When I said, um, some of you will have to like leave a job or, you know, it's time for you to start considering that option. And it seems like a lot of job opportunities will be presented for a lot of people that do decide to do that. Or you can still have your job, but you decide to move into a different direction when it comes to work, which is great. We also have love. Beautiful. So I feel like they're letting you know that love is on its way. A healthy love. What else do we have here? Oh, I see wife. So marriage. Maybe some of you, like with the offer... There could be someone that you're dating that decides to propose, to make an offer for you. Um, I'm going to actually put these down here. Love, and then we'll put the wife with love. Or like some of you will meet a person that you do end up marrying. Let's see, do we have husband? We have hubby, I think. Or we have hub. <laughs> so we can also have husband. I think we have Mary. Yep, we have Mary. I'm I'm getting this vibe. A lot of you, if you that pick this pile, if you release what you're so attached to, a lot of this like, you know, better jobs come your way. This goes with like love and also the money side, releasing the attachment to something that just doesn't serve you right now and watch everything that does serve you, that does want to come in, come your way. And you actually enjoy it, you know, the love, the jobs, you know, being engaged, being married, like all of that is for you. What else do we have? So I actually am getting this phrase, not now, not now. There could be something that you've been told over and over again, not now, not right now later on not now and now they're letting you know I'm feeling like they're saying this now to let you know your time is now now it is your time so we, we kept telling you not right now not now but now you're going to actually have it now it is coming towards you if you let go and release the things that you have to get rid of it is all yours okay so I have other letters here but obviously these are the the main ones that they wanted me to call out the main words. So if you see anything else, feel free to put it in your, put it in the comment section, put it in your journal, put it in your notes. I know sometimes people watch readings and take notes. All right. So for charms, we have the number 17. So maybe something will happen for you in 17 days, 17 weeks. Also, that number could just be a special number for your connection. The number 17 also adds to the number eight. So the number eight is a symbolic connection number as well, too. We have, oh, we have love. Okay. We have beautiful. See, we have the scissors. There's a need to release something, to cut something out, to get rid of it. So make sure that you start doing that and figuring out what it is that you have to let go of. We have another heart and that says love. So love is literally in the cards for you. It's in the cards, it's in the charms for you. So, and in the letters. This is letting you know, just because you release something or someone that you've been very attached to, it does not mean love is never going to come to you because that love may come to you in a better version, a better form than you, what you expected. So I feel like that's why they're letting you know it's OK to release it, because if you let me have it, I can bring it back to you in a better form. I can give you something way better than you would ever imagine. Next, we have Leo, which is generous. We have the number 21. That can be another special number for your connection, for your life. Um, 21 days, 21 weeks. We have an angel, so protection. I'm also getting healing with that. We have grace. 
I feel like the universe is saying, give us grace. Give us a grace period to handle things. That way we can bring it in for you. We have never, never give up. See, they're letting you know, even though things might take a while or have been taking a long time, never give up. You know, we might have said not now for a while, but now we're letting you know now is the time. Now. We have Scorpio, which is passionate. We have Taurus, which is trustworthy. We have a snake here. See, I feel like this is letting you know to cut out any snakes, cut out, you know, deceptive energies, cut out karmic energies, cut out anything where if it's giving you mixed signals if it is unclear just cut it out for now and that way you can you know put yourself in a place where you're no longer stressing yourself out about these mixed signals okay i see mia randomly with the letters so like maybe somebody has been mia with you and it's letting you know like it's okay to let them go to release them and if they want to come back they'll come back if they don't come back then that's on them we have a weight, so I feel like this is about not carrying extra burdens on yourself, especially when it comes to work, like not staying in jobs where you feel like, oh my gosh, like I'm draining, I'm dying every day, mentally and emotionally and spiritually. We have the pumpkin um, carriage, so I feel like this is letting you know your Prince Charming or, you know, your beautiful goddess is coming your way in love because you got love three times. Or actually, yeah, you got three times. And then we have enough. So I feel like they're letting you know you're going to have more than enough, especially when it comes to like money and career. You are going to be successful. You'll be fine. You'll have more than enough. I think some of you kind of stress yourself out about that often. We have a butterfly. So transformation and change is coming. We have the two swans here and they make a heart. So like I said, we did get the soulmate twin flame tile. So maybe a very small portion of you guys will actually you know, come together with your your twin or with your soulmate. But I'm getting that you can't be so attached to that idea where you are causing yourself anxiety. You are like trying to force the situation to happen. Like let it come naturally. If it is meant to happen, it will happen because we all have free will and we don't have to choose each other if we don't want to, because there could be someone way better out there than the person that you're thinking of sometimes that is going to treat you tremendously well, way better than what you expected. And then we have a lock. So I feel like this is about stability. This is about locking down a job, locking down a career where you are going to be financially, you know, equipped. You're going to be stable. You're going to enjoy it. And I feel like also someone wants to like lock you down in a good way. Like they want to marry you. They don't want to waste any more time, you know, not having you as their wife or um, they don't want to waste any more time not having a, a solid official relationship. They want the real thing. OK, so I hope this was helpful for those that selected this pile. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate the love and the support and I wish you all the best. Blessings in abundance. All righty. So let's look into your cards and see what messages we have for you when it comes to money, your career and then also love. We're going to get the charms and letters at the very end. So our first card is, ooh, we have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Next, we have the Seven of Wands, the Princess of Pentacles, and the Stars. Very nice. Okay. So let's see what messages we get when it comes to money. So I feel like with money, with the engagement card here, this is letting you know that some of you are going to get a promotion soon. You might get... Um, like a different title and more income or some of you just might get a raise and keep the same title but there's some type of like level up here when it comes to your career your money aspect i also get that some of you may have started a business and it's going to like take off it's going to do well within the next you know six months or so like you're finally able to make more money like actually make a profit right because the idea is that you can bring in money, but also you have to take out the expenses. And then once you do all of that, then what is your profit? So I get that some of you are going to be making a profit as well. A few of you actually apply for like a business loan. And you're going to get approved for it is what I'm seeing. I get that it is very important for some of you to actually, if you haven't started the business and actually uh, like shared it with others to keep it to yourself for a little bit, be very protective of this business and even if you already started it also be protective of it because it is your baby you want to take care of it you don't want anyone to like 
um, send any like negative energy towards you, or towards your company, towards your business. You want people to um, know very little about it. Like it, they can know like, oh, you know, I started a business, but they don't have to know every single thing about it. And there's some people who are like, I don't have to tell people that I started a business. Like you can keep that information to yourself. I get that it's also important for you to be very organized, um, to keep track of the money that you're bringing in, the money that you're spending. That way, you know what you're putting in and what you're getting out of this as well. Um, I get if you're thinking about or hoping for a race to so start setting that intention, writing it down in your journal often, you know, meditating on that energy and letting it come to you, letting it manifest. Some of you might be able to like, actually um, I don't know if the word is apply for a raise or apply for a promotion, but more so like have that conversation with your supervisor. Like, hey, you know, I've been here for X amount of time. You know, I have performed X, Y and Z very well. Um, you know, I was thinking or wondering, you know, is there a new role that I can, um, you know, be a great contender for? Or is there like a promotion or some type of like salary increase that we might um, have for me? Or something like that. Like really set the tone. Be confident in yourself too if you do do this. That way they feel your confidence. I like this a lot. I like it a lot. And I feel like with the stars, some of you are waiting for a better job opportunity. And it is coming. You're waiting for a level up. You're waiting for something better. So you will get that. Because you've been wishing for it. And you've been hoping for it. So in terms of the love aspect of this reading. Some of you actually might get engaged within six months. And I feel like those are for people that... Either one have dated are dating someone now and it's going, you know, fairly well or you have put yourself in a position where you're saying, you know what, I'm, you know, releasing myself from anyone or anything that doesn't serve me, that is not connected to my higher purpose, that is not, you know, of abundance, that is not of love. And I welcome in a person that is of a quality, that is of abundance, that is of, you know, great communication. And when you do that, you allow yourself to actually manifest that. And so there's a chance you can meet someone and you guys just hit it off immediately and you get engaged in six months. It is possible. It's not weird. I feel like when you know, you know. And that's like a message for a lot of people and just in general, like when someone knows that they want you, they're going to make it known. That goes for a job. That goes for like a relationship. If I interview someone and I think this person is a phenomenal candidate and I know for a fact they're going to be a perfect fit, like I might have like one more person I might interview just because it's already in the works. But if I already know that they're a perfect fit and they're going to be great and their references check out. Why would I waste my time interviewing 10 more people if I know for a fact this person is it, right? Same thing with a relationship. If someone genuinely wants you, they are going to make it known. Their actions are going to show it. Sometimes people are afraid and it does take them a little time to get to the place where they're confident in that. But at the end of the day, it's all about what are you doing to show that, yes, you're ready for this higher level of commitment, Right. And so I get that some of you are actually manifesting this engagement. You're manifesting a connection with the person that is going to commit to you. And it could be someone that you already know, too. Like I said, it can be someone new. It could be someone old. But the idea is that you detach from this, you know, fantasy or this dream of like what it's going to be like with the actual person you're thinking of itself. I feel like some people are actually thinking of someone versus like. I'm going to just think of the energy and the emotion and the, the feeling I'm going to have with it because then the universe is like, okay, I can work with that now because if the person you're thinking of is literally struggling, getting themselves together, it might take forever for that to happen. But if you kind of like just make it where you're like, I'm, I think of a person that's great communicator, that is loving, that is kind, that is affectionate, um, that's very giving, they, they're not like triggers to me and stuff like that. What happens is the universe is like, OK, I know who to send for that now or that energy kind of helps the universe get re get this other person that you're thinking of ready so they could be in that place and be in that space to be better. So I get that a lot of you will be manifesting something or someone that you've been praying for for a while and it's coming your way. But also know that I feel like with this car being here, if it's someone that you've been thinking about that you've been hoping it will be, it's important to protect yourself. So maybe give them like, this is my last chance with this person, giving this person one more chance to get it together. If they get it together within this, whatever time period you give them, cool. 
If they don't, then that's okay because you know something better is out there for you. You know that just because it didn't work out with this one person, it does not mean love is over for me. That's what I'm getting for you with these cards. So I definitely say congratulations to those that will get engaged, you know, or meet the person that they'll get engaged to eventually, right? Maybe within six months you meet the person and then later on you get engaged, you know, however long it is. But the idea is that you're committing to yourself and you're putting yourself first. And then when you do that, everything falls into place. Every wish that you ever had falls into your literally the palm of your hands. You're going to be literally dripping abundance, dripping fabulous, wonderful manifestation. Okay, so now let's get into your charms and letters and see what else we get. Alrighty, so we have your letters and charms. So now let's make your words. I'm going to call out the words that spirit guides me to do. So the first word I see is soul. So I feel like this is letting you know to continue to connect with your soul purpose, to connect with yourself. Let's see what else do we have here. We have faith. So I feel like this is letting us know that whatever is destined for you, whatever is stated for you will always be yours, right? It will never leave you. It will never leave your soul. It will never leave um, your sight. It is always connected to you in some way, shape or form, whether you have it in visions and dreams or you see it in the physical. Uh, we also have, oh, we also have wife. So we did get the engagement card. Let's put this together. So some of you will become a wife. Some of you will get married. Yes, we actually have married too. <laughs> Let's see. M-A. We have Mary. We have sex. And it's funny that I get that word. So when I got it, I didn't think of like the actual action itself. I'm thinking of like the sex of the baby. So maybe some of you might manifest a child um, very soon. Those that have been like praying for one and hoping that they'll get pregnant soon. Let's see if we do we have gender. We do have gender. See, gender, sex of the baby. I'm going to take this E and then make the R right there. And like also this could mean some of you actually get some good loving. <laughs> but I, I, I got this more so with like a baby. It's like some of you manifesting a child. Next we have. We have love. Let's put love over here. So they're letting you know love is your destiny. It's a part of your journey. You can manifest it. Actually let's move it. We'll keep it there. I also see money. So I'm going to take some of the stuff from here. I'm going to take the E from there. We have money. Love and money. See how this reading is tied, about, tied to love and money. And you're going to manifest more love and more money into your life. And put the, that back together. I also see ego, so not letting your ego get in the way of you manifesting a lot of greatness into your life. Sometimes our ego will intimidate us and make us seem like be less confident in ourselves, make us not want to go for something. So the idea is that your let your ego has to be put in its place. We have jar. I feel like some people are bottling up a lot of things, so it's important to release that, release it, and be free from anything that you're holding on to as well. We have cars, so some of you might manifest a new car soon. We also have star. So didn't we get that card for you guys, the stars? I believe so. So this is letting you know a lot of your wishes are coming true. A lot of you are going to manifest. Some of you might manifest a career where you are a star, whether it be like a social media, not social media, but like a I guess so a social media influencer, like you're a YouTube sensation or you actually become a star, um, like a celebrity of some sort. Maybe you date a celebrity or someone that is very popular. That is something to pay attention to as well. 
Okay, so these are the words that I've been called to reach um, to like show you guys. So now let's reach into our charms pile and see what we have here. So the first one I see that's grabbing my attention is you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. So this is letting you know someone is looking at you and thinking of you as their sunshine. So this could be an ancestor that is saying like, you know, you are our sunshine. We love you. This could be a person that loves you romantically and letting you know that you are their sunshine, their only sunshine. We have Aries, which is courageous. So I feel like this is letting you know. Um, I remember something I mentioned something about like confidence. And with the ego, so making sure that you're confident in yourself. And also, so there could be someone that you're interested in or that is interested in you that is this sign. We also have Pisces, which is intuitive. We have Cancer, which is imaginative. We have find the joy in the journey. So no matter how long something takes, always find the joy in it so you can appreciate the experience. We have protected, so your angels and ancestors are letting you know that you're protected. We have a heart, so for love. We have the number six, so that can be a symbolic number for your connection, which is the lovers in the tarot deck, which is typically, you know, the soulmate or a twin flame, divine counterpart card. We have the number four, which is also another number that is connected to our love life. We have the glasses here. I feel like this is letting you know to take your glasses off sometimes uh, or maybe not even glasses. Take your blinders off because sometimes we allow love or we allow like certain things to blind us and we don't see the reality for of what it is so this is important for you to take these glasses off or take anything off that is blocking your vision and for some people that actually need glasses it's the same put on your glasses and actually take a good look at what's in front of you next we have the letter a so i feel like this is for abundance we have a turtle so maybe things have been moving a little bit slow but now they're going to pick up they're going to move a lot quicker oh we have the cherry so this is a charm from cherry the enchantress um, she's another YouTube reader, and I feel like this is letting us know that things are going to be sweet. Things are going to be great, abundant, and full of love and energy, positive energy. We have always, look at that, always, whatever is for you will always be yours. It will never leave your sight. We have lived the life you love, absolutely. Do things that make you feel good, that you feel good doing, that you enjoy. We have Namaste, so this is about, you know, grounding yourself protecting your energy and meditating, grounding um, yourself in a way where you're able to not let your ego, let any negative energy like get in the way of your success. We have a fairy. So there's a fairy watching over you and blessing you. And then we have created for you. So whatever is coming your way in terms of love and in terms of a job or money, it is created for you. It is your blessing. It is yours. No one can take it from you. It will always be yours. And the idea is that when you feel confident in that and you know that whatever is for me out there, it is always for me. It is no one else's blessing but mine because that was created for you. OK, so I hope you all enjoyed your reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate the love and the support as always. And I wish you all the best blessings and abundance.